This is Rosa from Rosa Travels. Welcome to another tutorial on Calibre. Wow, today we're going to have an exciting tutorial. You're going to learn how to format and also polish EPUB books that you can download for free from the Gutenberg site. Let me take you to the Gutenberg site. Okay, this is a Project Gutenberg site and they offer a lot of free ebooks. As you know, there are a lot of public domain books with copyrights that have expired. The people behind this site are actually volunteers. They've taken the time to digitize and also to proofread some of the ebooks that are on the public domain and they've put them into different formats. In the past, for these public domain books, they just came in PDF formats. But now, let's take a look at this one here. You can download EPUB with images, EPUB with no images, Kindle with images, Kindle with no images, or plain text. And they have even more files for you to choose and some zip files and text files. And also here with HTML, you can read online. Okay. All of these are free and you can download this into your computer. Isn't this neat, huh? So we'll go back to the main page. They've done a lot of work, so be sure to donate to them if you like this site, which I do. So let's search for a book. How about if we look for the Bible? Okay, and let's see what they have on the Gutenberg site. Alright, they've listed it under authors, subjects, bookshelves, and let's just take this one, the King James Version of the Bible. So we will download the EPUB book because I want to show you how you need to reformat these books because many of these books are machine formatted and they're not for sale. So people don't bother doing all these clickable table of contents, make things easy for you to read and you can't really navigate easily inside the book. I've downloaded the book. So we just click on this. I've shown you how to use this before, so I won't go through the procedure here now. But we need to do this now in order for you to learn this new tutorial. All right, just click OK. And here's our new book. Let's just take a look at the metadata. And I'll just generate a cover for this. I won't explain this part because we've done this before in the tutorial, but I need to do this in order to teach you further how to use the Calibre software to reformat the book and to polish the book nicely. Here's the book cover I want and I'll just click this out. Okay, this part we've done before, so I just click OK. All right, now you've done this, I'm going to show you what this book looks like in the EPUB. Okay, this is a New Testament. We'll go to the beginning. Okay, the beginning of the Bible. And then it gives you the first book, Genesis. And then you have to keep reading and reading and reading until the end. There's no table of content for you to navigate. So you always have to go back to the beginning of the book. And here you can read the second book called Exodus. And you just keep scrolling. And when you finish, you have to go back to the top and come to Leviticus. Now these books are not formatted and polished at all. So I'm going to show you how you can take a public domain book and do the nice formatting so that you can have the right table of content, the right chapter divisions for the HTML files. Okay, because we want to avoid this situation where you have to come back here to keep clicking on these links to get to these books. You want a good navigable table of content. Now we're going to edit this book. Last time I showed you that you can edit the book by going to the toolbar here with this widget. Another way you can do this, which is what I often do, is I just click on this, right click on the mouse and edit book. So this is just a shortcut to edit book. So I come to here. On the left side, you see these HTML files, okay? And in the middle are the HTML codings where we're going to do the editing in here. And this panel on the right is a preview. Let's take a look at just this panel here. 
here it gives you the HTML and also the size of the HTML. This one is 68, this one is 66, 66, 66. They are both 66 kilobytes for each HTML. If we come to the zero here, it begins with the introduction. And you come to one, it is already on chapter 17, verse 6. You see the body here? Chapter 17, verse 16. It's in the middle of Genesis. If we click on HTML2, it's 31. This is not the beginning of a new book. It's still in Genesis. You come to HTML3. This is still in Genesis, chapter 45. You come to the fourth HTML. All of a sudden, you see this chapter 11, verse 1. Right away, we know that this is the second book of the Bible. This is not Genesis anymore. Meaning that Genesis covers one, two, three, four HTML files. So we come to the third HTML. Let's see where the division is. We want to separate the Bible books so that you have a clickable table of content for each book that is hyperlinked inside the ebook. So when you click on the table of content, you can find the book right away without always scrolling back to the top, just like what I just showed you earlier. So for the third HTML, we know the division is here. So what we need to do is come down to this preview section and let's take a look at where the division should go so that we know where the new section begins. So here's one six. So we go up a little bit, one one, and here it is book of Moses called Exodus. This is where we want to divide this HTML. Right now, it's the third HTML. It's right in the middle. See, this is in the middle section of the HTML. We want to split this HTML into two parts. If we click on the preview panel here, we come to the HTML in the middle section, and we just scroll down a little bit. You see this? You see this HTML code H3. This is the new heading. What we can do is we can come to this coding HR, the horizontal line class equals to C3. And I just put this up a little bit so you can see. This is the H3 ID, the second book of Moses called Exodus, and it matches with the third HTML file here. And on the right, you see the second book of Moses called Exodus. So all these have to match so that you can find the place where you want to divide the book. What you can do now is we look for the code above this. This one is HR class equals to C3. It is actually a section divider. So we can come up here to where the code begins and enter. Okay, so it'll give you a little bit more space. Whatever we change in the middle section here, you'll see on the right side. Say if I type something like, this is a divider. you see on the right here, this is a divider. But we don't want to type this is a divider here. We want to separate these two sections. We want to divide this so people can locate this is the beginning of Exodus in the chapter division. You come down to the preview section, watch closely. There's a tab here. There's a cursor that goes up and this is where you split the file. So click on the one on top because we want to split the file right here. So we will click on this and you see this green line that is appearing on the right. This is the file divider. I want it to divide right here. Watch closely. I will click on this line and you notice that when I click on this line, something will change over here on the left because it's going to split the HTML files. This is the beauty of the Calibre software. Even if you don't know HTML, if you follow my instruction, you can actually turn all these HTML files easily without coding anything in here yourself. I know HTML coding, so sometimes it's faster for me to code it in. But if you don't know HTML, this is all you need to do. Get that green line to the place where we want to divide the sections. 
So I just click on this and watch what happens on the left when I click on the right. There you go. You see, it split the file for me. Now HTML3 has two files. One is HTML3, which is about Genesis, and then HTML split one here begins with Exodus. And I also want you to notice that when this file is split, automatically Calibre generates these codes for me right away. Now these codes are important for each HTML file. You need this code for each new HTML file that you create. Otherwise, you don't have any formatting at all. So I can do this easily myself. But for those of you who don't know HTML, you need to understand the concept behind this. Okay. And if you come down here, you still see that HR class C3 where it separates Genesis from Exodus. And then this HTML file continues on with the book of Exodus. Now, that was quite easy, wasn't it? I'll just move this back a little bit so you can see. Actually, the HTML3 file now has only 25 kilobytes, whereas the split one HTML is a bigger size book, is 41 kilobytes. So this is what you need to do to separate the chapters. You split up the HTML files. Okay, let's do one more. We click on this. This is still Exodus, still Exodus, 39, still Exodus, ah, 14. Now this tells me that it's another book. We come back to the 6 HTML and we're going to scroll down to see where the split is for the next book, which is Leviticus. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right here. The third book of Moses called Leviticus. So we click on this. So I quickly scroll down to the Leviticus and you find this code here, H3. And we can just and click on this to generate a split file. On the left, you see the 6 HTML, 5 kilobytes. And then the split 1 HTML, 63.9 KB. So HTML 6 has two split files now because of the chapter division. If we click on the split HTML, again, we see the new codes given to the new HTML before the new chapter, Leviticus. Once you know how to do this, it's not difficult at all. You just need to get used to reading these HTML files and know where the divisions are. And by using this tab here, it's a fast way of splitting your HTML files. I'm going to pause the video here and do the rest of the book. Alright, I finished adding all 66 chapter divisions into the Bible. So let's go to the left side here and we're going to come down to do the table of content. When we come into the TLC, NCX, we can look for that coding. TLC is table of content. I mentioned that to you last time. I won't repeat the whole thing, but just so that you know how to read these HTML files. So the first one will be here. And in between the text, we're going to key in the first book of Moses called Genesis. Okay. And then we come down and scroll down to the second one, number, page pub, ID 00002, and in between the text brackets here, we're going to hold in the second book of Moses called Exodus. I'm going to pause the video and do the rest of them. All right, we're back here. Let me just show you what I've done. So for number, page pub ID 003 is the third book. So I've keyed in the third book of Moses called Leviticus. And the fourth one, HTML, HTML number page pub ID 004 is the fourth book, fourth book of Moses called Numbers. So now this book has all the codings 
for a beautifully formatted table of content for this Bible. So after you've done all this, be sure to save your work. If you don't save your work, everything is lost. We're going to come back to the Caliber software to take a look at our new formatted book from the public domain, free ebook resources. So we can just scroll down. In the past, we had to click on this, but now we have the first book of Genesis, we have Exodus, we have Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. What happened is some of these books are not in a new page break. Genesis is, Exodus is, Leviticus is, and Numbers is not. So we can do one more thing, okay? We we'll just remember there's a fourth book, Leviticus. The Deuteronomy, the fifth book, is not in the new page. This one is, so we we'll just do the fourth one and the fifth one. I'll just quickly show you how to do this to add this into the tutorial so that you can see how effective this Calibre software is when we edit books. If you know HTML, it's a breeze. So I just come back to here. Okay, this is Exodus. Okay, okay, here's the HTML for the Book of Numbers. So we click on this and we come to the middle section here. And what you need to do is we come down here and we're going to add in this code br bracket. Okay, that just means a page break. And we come down to the next one, Deuteronomy. Okay. Deuteronomy is here, so we just click on this to find the HTML on Deuteronomy. And we come back here, and we just need to do br slash bracket. Okay, and then we save. Let's come back to our book and see whether the page opens up on a new page for the new book. Table of content, look for numbers, there you go. It's the beginning of the new page. And Deuteronomy, and Joshua, see how nice it is? And then Judges, it isn't, you have to go back and key in the BR slash code. Rules isn't, this one is okay. So this is what you can do to polish up the formatting of the book that you download from the public domain sites. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to the Gutenberg site and download any of the literature work that you love reading. And these old books have a lot of treasures in there. The problem is that these books have never been formatted or polished nicely because they're not formatted by people but done by machine. So now that you know this trick of using the HTML splits, and keying in the table of content yourself. And finally, to add in the page break, it will make your book look super on your e-reader. If you have any questions, ask me. This is Rosa. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.